The thumbnail for this video that you clicked on was also generated with ChatGPT's new 4.0 image generation model. This is the new era of Vibe design. So as you can see, ChatGPT just launched their new 4.0 image generation model and it's going crazy over the internet. This is the most viral release of this year. So let's have a look at some of the creations. While creating images from prompts was very well known and ordinary, people are using it mainly for remixing their images. So as you can see for the popular meme, it can be turned in any kind of style that you think of. You can see people recreating the most viral memes and just turning them into Ghibli, anime or whatever other style that they want. This is also a viral meme you can see and it, they recreated it in Ghibli style. You can even turn images of Titanic into Ghibli or anime style as you can see. So people are using this to turn an existing image into something new. And let me show you how to do it. So when you're in a ChatGPT, as you can see, I took this image and set ChatGPT to turn it into Ghibli style. And I got this answer. Pretty solid for 30 seconds of waiting. Here I even asked for another alternative and it was even better. Here is another image and I turned it into Ghibli style as well. And the result is kind of fine. Now another use case, you can take your PFP and if you find it old and not interesting anymore, you can turn it into whatever you want. So I just type anime style, added my image, and this is the result. I liked it so much that I actually use it for my PFP right now. So when it comes to the creativity of this model, it's really good. But how's the editing of the images? If you wanna edit something in the image, it may not be always the best. So it gave me this yellow, but I have my specific yellow color that I use for all of my PFPs, my subtitles and everything. And when I tried that, it didn't give me exactly the background that I wanted. So it's not the best when it comes to specifics like this maybe, but I'm sure it can be solved in a few months. Another great thing you can do here is basically remix several pictures. Here, I tried to create the thumbnail from ex an ex existing video, basically. You can see here, I went to AI Guy's YouTube profile and checked the most popular videos and I picked this thumbnail, which is the second most viral thumbnail. So I just uploaded his thumbnail, then my PFP, and give it instructions on how to recreate the thumbnail. Overall, it looks nice, but I would have to be more specific. So I don't want to have this views and estimated revenue here and full course. So just let's remove it. I told it to remove and it kind of did really well. You can see just this infographic there and even added the neon yellow light all over the infographic. My face looks almost like me, pretty well done with the glasses and everything. So it, its attention to detail is actually really good. The text is also fine. You can see there is no mistake. Use vibe design, full course vibe design. So no mistake in text, although the infographic itself could be better. You can see still here, there's some bullshit text basically, which we cannot use. So you can just continue to prompt and change the image how you want and hopefully you can get the best result. But here, for example, I have this size of the image and it suddenly created this thumbnail, which is more like a square size. And I didn't want that. So there are still mistakes JGBT uh, can work on. But overall, this is probably the end of designers because why would you hire someone for this kind of a thing when you can create it on your own in just a few minutes? Let's look at some of the other examples. I shared something on my Twitter here and you can see someone uploaded a screenshot of a t-shirt and ChatGPT was actually able to identify what it is and then make an infographic out of that. So you can remix images, edit images, create infographics, thumbnails and what else? Let's see. So you can create also an infographic like this, basically, how to live in New York. You can see all the text is good. And then ask it to put the infographic in someone's hands, right? This is crazy. You can use this for all images for LinkedIn 
or for your thumbnails or for for newsletters or for whatever purpose but this level of image creation and edit editing is unheard of look at this you can even have educational posters on types of whales with this prompt the creator got this so ChatGPT just probably killed a lot of AI image tools. And this is just the first phase, right? You can create images, but then when you have the images, you can actually take them and create short videos, movies, or even documentaries with this. Someone recreated, for example, Interstellar into Ghibli style, and you can see the quality is amazing. So the first thing that actually went viral is these AI images. And now people will start to produce crazy good looking videos with this. If you want more useful AI updates, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and see you in another video.